It all started with the academy. I started training the children about 10 years ago. Um, I myself started when I was about three years old. I've noticed that the children were getting really good and advanced, so I decided to start a non-for-profit organization a performing group in which now I can take the children that I've been training to start doing performances um, throughout, throughout the community. The ages that, I, that the program has uh, ranges from three years old to about 16, 17. Um, once they reach 18 years old, they, they graduate from, from the program. I brought the idea to the parents that of the children that I was training and let them know that we can start doing performances and concerts and start touring. And, and uh, when we first did our tour to, to Mexico and came out on national television, mind you, this was our, first, our very first tour, everyone was so surprised and so amazed at what their children can do, of course, my students. This program benefits my girls very much, just not even just playing an instrument and a lot of other life lessons that they've learned from it. Just being disciplined and persistence and that it pays off when you work at something. When we were in uh, Mexico, um, I remember Anna, uh, or, or Sarah, um, my middle daughter, going up on stage and that's where there are 2,000 people in the audience. And she started off with a solo and just started playing a really easy song. It was Seesaw, but she was four years old. The audience just looked at her and they just started applauding. They didn't wait for her to finish the song. She, they just started applauding. taken the group to Mexico, Disney World, Universal Studios in Florida. We performed in Europe, which was our, our longest journey, uh, Bulgaria. And um, we've had the opportunity to perform at the Capitol Building and the Lincoln Museum, which was a, a total honor for us. I've learned from Mr. Lopez discipline. What I have learned from Mr. Lopez as well is discipline, the music, um, how to perform on stage without getting stage fright. I learned that it's good to be confident in yourself. Because it's just so fun to learn different techniques. Four Strings Attach operates on concerts, weddings, uh, performances throughout, throughout the year, and we do mixers as well for the community, being that it is a non-for-profit organization. So we're, we're constantly looking for sponsorships and, and donations to help us grow. Because there is this aspect of memorization, an aspect of, you know, uh, synchronizing, and there's so many overlapping things that are needed in the academic world that you do find in, in the musical world. I like the violin because this is like one of the hardest instruments, and then if I'm going to play a new instrument, then it's going to be easier. I have learned from Mr. Lopez that like, you could be your own self, and that's okay. Like, you can be someone totally different, and people will accept you for it. Other than just teaching you how to play the violin and how to perform to people, um, you also have the opportunity to make really good friends, and it's like being part of a huge family. And I'm amazed at, at where we're at right now. Of course, I, I still have plans and uh, 
a vision for the future for these kids. So right now what you see is, is, is just the beginning.